Thank you for joining me on Just Talk with Rachel. And today we are discussing a very interesting topic. This is self-awareness. Most of us, we operate on autopilot. We operate on autopilot so much that we even forget that we are on autopilot. Why is it that we are not aware? It's because we lack self-awareness. Self-awareness is the ability to see yourself to understand yourself, to see your patterns of behavior, to be aware of your passions, to be aware of your values, to also step back and look at yourself through the eyes of other people. It's not only about what you think of yourself, it also includes looking at yourself through the eyes of other people. And for you to be self-aware, you need to be introspective. You need to be reflective. You need to be aware of your patterns of behavior. Self-awareness has got two categories. There is internal self-awareness and external self-awareness. The internal self-awareness involves knowing you yourself, knowing your um, attitude, knowing your behaviors, knowing your emotions, understanding why you do things a certain way. And the external self-awareness is allowing yourself to look at your behavior through the eyes of other people. And it's not an easy thing because for you to be able to see yourself through other people's eyes or taking a walk in someone's shoes, it requires a lot of empathy. You need to be empathic for you to see what other people are saying. And when you talk about empathy, we are basically saying you are taking a walk in somebody's shoes. You are looking at yourself from a different perspective. It takes somebody who is humble enough to see what other people see when they interact with you, to hear what other people hear when they are listening to the way you communicate with them. We are now going to do an exercise, and this exercise will shed some light to, uh, to what extent you are self-aware. See how you are going to respond to the following questions. We are going to use a rating system of zero, one, and two. Zero meaning that you are not, you are not, that, that is not you. And one meaning to some extent. You are not necessarily aware, however, sometimes you are aware. And two meaning, you are aware. And that actually is how you see yourself. Now, let's look at the following questions and see how you are going to respond. Zero, one, or two. The first one says, I observe myself. The second one, I have insight into myself. Number three, I look at why people act the way they do. Number four, I seek to learn about myself and how I see the world. Number five, I continue to work on ways to develop myself. Number six, I look at ways of correcting my behavior. Number seven, I reassess my own responsibility to a conflict. That is, you sit back to analyze your contribution to the conflict, if there is a conflict. Number eight, I'm aware of my abilities and limitations. That is, you are aware of your strengths and weaknesses or areas you are good at and areas that you are not good at. Number nine, I am reflective. You are able to reflect, to introspect and to see how you respond to situations. And last but not least, I am realistic about myself. Remember, Rate yourself zero, meaning that you don't, one, meaning that sometimes, and two, meaning that you do. As you might have noticed in the previous questionnaire, self-awareness centers mainly around 
knowing yourself. Self-awareness centers around understanding yourself. And self-awareness also is about how you relate with other people. How do people see you? Because if you are not aware, sometimes we complain and say people give us names. Of course they do. And where do those names come from? They come from how they see us interacting with them. So we will do well to be open enough and be receptive to feedback when people tell us what they think or how they see us. Sometimes we might argue and say that behaviors or our behaviors are mostly influenced by the environment. However, our behavior can also influence the environment. Well, next time I would like us to discuss about the signs of someone who is not self-aware. How can you tell whether you are self-aware or not? I hope this video has been informative. Please leave a comment below and share your view on how and what you have learned about yourself from the previous exercise. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.